Jason here. All right, so I've got my deck attached now, and I've gone over and you know did a rough sand all over everything and shaped the deck so that it has a nice transition, a nice smooth edge all along it. Uh, I've done the same with the the combing, ran it off the edge, and also uh, made it so it was just slightly tapered on the the cherry overlay as well. Uh, then then I went over and just you know quickly did a sand over it, just making sure that any you know, grit or anything that might have been on my hands is removed. Uh, and then the last step I did was uh, I took a dampened sponge and wet all the hardwood down. Uh, I, I, wetting it down, it's not to the point where the wood is soaking, but it's just so that it brings out, uh, you know, almost like a finish on it. It just brightens the wood up. And then doing that, all the fibers in the wood will stand up. Okay, so I let the wood sit overnight and the next day I came out and all the fibers were still standing up but the wood had dried out. Uh, doing that brings out any of the, the cross scratches from sanding that could be in the wood um, and also brings out all those loose fibers. So I took 120 grit sandpaper and then went around and sanded everything. All the, hard, uh, all the hardwood trim, the gunnels, uh, in walls, out walls, uh, e even uh, some of the spacers uh, looked a little rough, so I sanded them again. Um, the combing, the deck, everything, okay? So I sanded everything again and got it uh, nice and smooth to what 120 grit will do. So the next step is I'm just gonna take some epoxy. Uh, I'm gonna use West System Epoxy with a 207 Special Hardener, and I'm gonna just uh, brush that on. I'm using a one and a quarter inch uh, brush and I'm just going to brush it to seal off all the wood. Now doing this I want to make sure that I get everywhere all right so anywhere that there's hard wood I want to seal it off well. Uh, using varnish might be good enough on its own but the epoxy definitely seals off the wood you know and prevents the uh, the wood from absorbing water. Uh, I haven't had any problems uh, when doing this and so I do it with every boat. Okay, so I'm going to get started with that now. Okay, well I'm just mixing up some epoxy here and uh, as I do it, I should point out that after sanding all of my deck and gunnels, uh, I obviously went along and uh, uh, brushed off all of the uh, dust created from sanding and I did that twice. One thing that I do always is I have a, just a simple a broom hand or broom head, I guess it would be, and I actually just brush off all the dust, and then I used a dust cloths as well, so I go over everything with the dust cloth afterwards. I find using the brush uh, gets the bulk of it off and is almost good enough, but when I run my hand over the surface, my hand still picks up dust, so I found following up with a, a dust cloth uh, picks up the remainder and uh, that's one one of the steps just to you know help you out getting a good finish okay so again I'm using a 105 uh, West system epoxy resin with the 207 special hardener. The 207 I prefer. Uh, it's, you know, it's fine for the work area that I have. What I mean is the temperature. And I find it, you know, it's definitely a, a clear coat and, uh, you know, it doesn't add, uh, I find the other uh, hardeners create kind of like an amber finish. And if that's what you're going for, then cool. Uh, I prefer the nice clear finish and I can only get, you know, that quality with the, the 207 Special Hardener. Okay, so uh, again, I should be wearing a, a respirator right now, but I'm not just for the purpose of being able to talk during the videos. So uh, definitely, wear your safety equipment. I do have the gloves and I have uh, 
eye protection on, so that's taken care of me in that regard. And now as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm going along and painting the surface of the deck, the hardwood, with this epoxy. Now, if there's any areas where you have little gaps, um, such as where I have the combing and the hardwood, it's been laminated together with thickened epoxy, but uh, there might be some gaps here and there, uh, you know, just really fine hairline gaps. That'll all thicken up, or sorry, that'll all fill now while you put in your epoxy. And uh, if you have any larger gaps, uh, you should probably take them off and try to get uh, some more epoxy into that area, um, depending on the size, because I've also found that uh, sometimes the epoxy might not fill at 100%, but when you go to put your varnish on, uh, that completes it. Okay. But the main thing is you don't want to finish your project and have spots where water can get into and sit, right? even if it's sealed off with epoxy. And with regards to the combing, the, the purpose is to have the water run down away from the boat. Well, I guess it won't be away from the boat, away from the, the passengers. And having a little gap will just uh, you know, work against that, that purpose. Right now, I find this one of the most rewarding times of building the Cedar Strip boat. For me, it's laying up the strips and then adding the, the, the final epoxy, which is right now. reaching in underneath with the brush, underneath the deck, making sure that I've got epoxy all the way underneath on the gunnels, right up underneath. Okay, I don't want to have too much on the brush when I go into my spacers, where it'll just all run down. But I can do a little bit, do some of the top, come underneath and run the brush under to catch anything that might be dripping. And then go in again and rub it again. Okay? Just like that. <laughs> 